Guys, check this out. Oh, ho, ho. Woo, look at that paint job. Just got in our first Austin Yellow M4 Coupe. What do you guys think of this? Ordered it with the black wheels. Let's go back and listen to it a little bit. See how it sounds. Not too bad, huh? Brand new 2015 BMW M4 Coupe. Got your twin power turbocharged six cylinder engine, 425 horsepower, 406 in torque. Magazines have gotten it as low as 3.90 to 60. This one does have the double clutch transmission. Check out the carbon fiber. What a nice touch. Now, one thing to tell you is the factory, this is a new car. You don't want to rev it up past 4,000 RPM. Mr. Johnson here, also known as the stick, no, I'm just kidding, um, he definitely knows that guy, so we're not hurting the car, just letting you know. Didn't, there we go. Thanks, Johnson. Thanks, buddy. Cool. Man, what an amazing paint job this is, guys. I know this is video, but if you have a chance on seeing it, you got to go see it yourself. It's like there's a switch. <laughs> it's like you turn it on. This one's been ordered with the upgraded 19-inch black wheels. They're not entirely black, but you can see that. You've got the awesome M Performance brakes on there. These aren't the carbon. Let's go to the sticker here. There's your mileage, 17 to 24, average of 19. All right, let's go. Got a little shadow up here. 2015, there's your base price. I wish it was fully loaded for that price, but hey, it's still a hell of a car for the price, guys. Executive package, lighting package, double clutch, you got the 19s. Got a few extra options on here. So it's under 77.5 US dollars. Let's go to the inside here. You can see it's got the contrast stitching. Really nice touch to the car. This one's also got the Harman Kardon. One thing I really liked is the cool M seats they did. Really cool styling, really nice leather. Also, the M badge here will glow when you open the car up, so at night it looks really cool. Back of the seats, more textured. It's got a hard center middle. Two plus two seating. Anthracite headliner. Alcantara color, whatever you want to call it. Air conditioning vents in the back. Power. Do have a power source back there. Let's go back up front. I know some of the first ones we've got had some wood trim, but now these have got the real nice high gloss carbon fiber trim. Double clutch transmission, touch pad controller, you know that's been out. Still got a good old handbrake. 8.9 wide inch widescreen, excuse me for the nav system, iDrive system. It's got a 20 gig hard drive. Good old carbon fiber roof, rigidity and also lightweight. That way drops that center of gravity just a little bit more. Really nice job on the styling of the rear deck lid too. You know in the past we've had little spoilers and things put on there, but this one's actually got pretty good amount of touch to it. A little bit more of a spoiler design, a little bit of downforce. 
They're going 150. 40, 60 split rear seat. You actually get floor mats with the US model. <laughs> Finally. And you got a cargo net for the back trunk and then also there's your gel pack for your uh, for your uh, high performance tires. And as most of you probably know, they don't come with run flats. You get some nice Michelins. I think they're the Super Pilot Sports or that you get. So really nice tire they put on there. Like with all our cars, we don't put on the front license plate mount. We keep that off. That way the owner can make the choice of doing it or not. It really keeps the front nice and clean looking. Give you another shot of the back here. And actually when it's warmed up, it's really quiet just idling. It's amazing all the detail they put into these bumpers now. Let's get in the driver's seat here. See, so you got the dead pedal. M design. It's got the heads up display. And you got your M steering wheel. Man, it's warm. Let me turn on the AC a little bit. Yeah, sorry about that. Great design steering wheel. Your unique paddle shifters. You can see this is warmed up, so it, look at that tack. It's yellow from 7 to 75 so it's still a high rev you guys know the previous high rev v8 i think it went up to about 82 8300 rpm so this being a turbo six you can still run it all the way up to about 7000 to 7500 rpm so yeah sorry about this we pointed the uh, car right directly in the sun I really wanted to show off that paint. I really was wondering what it was going to look like when we finally got our first one, so. Cool. Let's get back outside. Give you a nice shot of paint here. Thanks for watching, guys. Throw it on all your other media sources. Share it with your friends. Give me a thumbs up if you can. If you've got any questions, let me know. I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. And you can see this one's got the uh, lighting package. So it has the adaptive full LED lights for you. Cool. Let me, think, let me know what you guys think of the color, too. Get my shadow right in the way. <laughs> Cool, have a good one.